one wants him in the games until he dies to play. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Master Control. End of line. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Oh, hi, we're watching Full House, actually. Full House? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you try one of my new systems I got? Dad, you tell me this every time. I don't want to try another one of your old crummy games. This one's different. This is virtual reality. Uh, what is that? Well, how would you like to be actually in the game versus just playing it? Come on, you know you want to give it a try. Um... Okay, you want to give it a try? I call you two. Let's give it a shot. Come on, Come on Blue. Come on, Blue. Come on, Blue. I myself have always been fascinated with virtual reality and what it can do for not only gaming but just different experiences as well. Of course, systems like this cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and you definitely couldn't use it in your home. But given enough time, electronics like anything else becomes cheaper and advances more every day. Now back in the 90s, even Sega threw the hat into the ring uh, with a virtual reality headset of their own. Now I never used this myself. Uh, but I heard people talk about it and said it really wasn't anything worth getting, so I can't go into details. But you can see that game manufacturers back then really did think that VR was the future. A lot of times when you think about early virtual reality, people will think of the Nintendo Virtual Boy, and they consider it a huge flop. Now to be quite honest, it did have virtual in the name, but the Virtual Boy was never meant to be virtual reality. It was just meant to be a little immersive for some 3D gaming. And to be honest, I love the Virtual Boy. My friend Vectrex Roly also is very big on the Virtual Boy. And it's a great system. It really is not true virtual reality. It was never meant to be. Um, but if you do happen to come across one, I think you should pick it up. I think it's a great system with some great effects. And it really doesn't get the love and respect it deserves. Even Atari had thrown his hat into the ring with their Atari Jaguar. And they did have a prototype uh, Jaguar virtual reality headset made by the company Virtuality, uh, which were a leader and very, a very big pioneer in the early 2000s with virtual reality. There's only one working one that I'm aware of that's in the hands of a private collector, but the thing did work, and the game Missile Command was actually designed specifically for the VR headset. Now back in the 90s, I actually did purchase this Cybermax virtual reality headset for my IBM PC, and I was playing um, a couple of Star Wars games on it. And to be honest, the head tracking kind of worked, didn't work very well. The visual display was horrible. You could barely make out anything in there. And it was basically very obtrusive and, and didn't work very well at all. But back then, the technology was still in its infancy. Sometimes technology can really advance in one direction by using some things very backward. Now, virtual reality got big in the 90s with certain movies. But the technology wasn't really there yet with the screens and motion tracking. Uh, I had one and it was really kind of poor. But now with the advent of cell phones, really high resolution screens, and their ability for motion tracking, Google came up with the idea of just basically using cardboard as a shell with some lenses and using your cell phone as a VR headset. And this has kind of spurred a new technology with um, other manufacturers taking that to the next level. A few weeks ago, I was in Best Buy, and for $19, I picked up this Utopia 360, which is basically just a plastic shell that you put your cell phone in, but this one came with a Bluetooth controller. Now, I'm not reviewing this one here today, but this is what really spurred my review I'm doing here with my older uh, VR headset, which I'm going to show you in a few moments. Now this is the first unit I got about a year ago off of eBay. I paid $11.99 for it. It's basically just a Google Cardboard, but instead of being made out of cardboard, it's made out of plastic. You do use your own cell phone, you put it inside the unit, and use the motion tracking and the, the display from it. But it makes it a little bit more robust than you've gotten uh, simply with Google Cardboard. So this is basically what you'll get for your $11.99. It is basically just a plastic shell, not any more advanced than the Google Cardboard. You still use your cell phone, but at least you get a better case. And I'll have links down below for a whole bunch of different styles you can get very inexpensively using your cell phone. But it will give you a basic idea of what virtual reality could be if we spent more money on, say, an Oculus Rift down the road without spending that money today. 
Let's just take a quick look in some of the movies of the 90s that portrayed what virtual reality was going to be very soon. Password enter. Welcome to BRT Online. Global net selected. Beijing selected. Access denied. Access granted. Hotel Beijing selected. General account selected. Fax charges 32571, 15 January 2021, 15 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Online translation. Translator selected. Shit. It's just an all-night coffee shop. They were sending the fax to a coffee shop here in Newark. Local net selected. Hold it. Hold it. Command terminated. Come on. Copy world selected. It's here. Fax buffer selected. Part of it's here in the buffer of their fax modem. Nothing but a name. Dr. Alcott. Nothing came through. Shit! No, I'm gonna try something else. This guy called Strike. He runs a board in this sector, owes me a favor. Maybe you can find his doctor for me. Access denied. Come on, let me in! Now, movies in the 90s, like Johnny Mnemonic, kind of portrayed technology that really was not available, even probably till just about now, with companies like the Oculus Rift, that'll be coming out very soon if not already out um, this technology I have not seen but from what I hear from everyone else is extremely immersive very advanced but does require pretty uh, substantial computer hardware to uh, to do anything so maybe with technology like the oculus rift things like lawnmower man may become a reality sooner rather than later Access denied. Access, Access denied. denied. Maintenance line. Access granted. But as advanced as the Oculus Rift is, it does require a pretty substantial investment in both the unit itself and computer hardware that can run it. Devices I'm going to show you here are very inexpensive, could be under $15, honestly, as long as you have a cell phone that you can put in the unit. And I think it'll give you a good idea of what virtual reality can be, get your mouth watering, and make you decide whether or not you do want to spend the additional money on a more advanced system. So let's take a look at the unit itself. Um, the unit you're going to get for under $20, this one was actually $11.99, um, is going to be basically plastic, which you can see here, but it's not flimsy plastic. It's not super tough, but it will definitely take some falls if, or hits. Uh, if you're walking around with it on your face. Um, the headrests are pretty comfortable. Again, um, this one came with a very cheap foam to go around your face. Um, there are better ones that give you a better padding, but the foam does the job. Uh, the lenses you can see here uh, are glass. Uh, you definitely want to try and get that because um, that's really going to give you your best visual experience. And you can see here there are sliders so you can adjust it for your eyes specifically to get the best possible picture on your screen. Um, the, the lenses also do rotate uh, in a clockwise and counterclockwise direction for uh, focusing. Here's a button you press down that will allow you to uh, insert your cell phone. You can see there's really nothing in here. There's two pieces of either glass or plastic for lenses and a way to move them around. And this is where you would set your cell phone. Little rubber grips will hold the phone in place. They're spring-loaded. So you just basically take a cell phone uh, pretty much six inches or less, I think, are going to fit in these units. Mine's, uh, I think, a six-inch screen here in an LG G3. And you basically just slide it into position. 
once you have your phone in position, um, unless you have an external controller, which is one I do not, you have to start up your phone and start your application and then close the unit. Most VR applications for Google Cardboard, once you do this, by tilting your head, you usually can select uh, specific parts of the program, but you can also set up a Bluetooth controller if you need to. Let's see how my son okay. does trying out some VR. Uh, it, uh, uh, is this correct? And of course, the better the display inside your cell phone, the better the display will look like to you in the virtual reality environment. And with all the built-in accelerometers in modern cell phones, the head tracking is pretty good as well. Serious! No! Now the program my son has been viewing is called Titans from Space. It's a really good solar system simulator. It's available in both the Android and iPad marketplace. Um, it's really gorgeous. If you can see this in a, in a helmet, you really can't get the full effect here in this video. But everything here is in 3D. The depth is amazing. Um, you can look around uh, the Earth and the Moon. You can see the, the perspective between them with the 3D imagery. Um, if you have an opportunity to pick up one of these inexpensive helmets, this is a definite must-have in my opinion. It's just phenomenal to look around the solar system in this way and get a great tour guide. It's well worth the price. But I'll stop talking right now so you can kind of get a little more viewing of this program and just get a basic idea of what it would be like if you could see it in 3D and kind of look around anywhere you wanted in the solar system.
Now the video here from the program has been shortened quite a bit. There's a lot more to see in Titans from Space and again I highly recommend the program uh, if you have a device that can support it. So although these are not true virtual reality in the most immersive sense, Something inexpensive like these $15 to $20 virtual reality headsets and your cell phone will at least give you a basic idea of what you can expect uh, with getting something more advanced before you break the bank and buy something like that. I hope you enjoyed the video and give these things a try. I actually think they're fantastic. If not, even just to watch Vectrex Rolly's videos in 3D is totally worth it.